What's going on, y'all? So I finally got my radiator. It took a couple of days. I was just in a hotel, chilling, went walking a little bit. I know I haven't been on here, just been calling around, and then I didn't have no service. So anyway, y'all already know, we making today better than yesterday. And hopefully I get the going today, get me a load today, get me a load tomorrow. Um, show y'all my radiator. I had a fine brand new one. So I had to find a brand new one. First day they was telling me out here it's gonna take a week, it's gonna take two weeks. So finally got it. What I've been here since on um, what Saturday I dropped off. Lost a lot of time. But you know, this is what happens. This is what happens when you're on the road, y'all. Like a lot happened. That's why you gotta make sure you plan, you save. I'm actually happy that, you know, the, my hotel room was on uh, reward point. So I was paying. F no, I was free up until last night. Last night I was um, running out of points. But one thing about the um, choice privileges is like when you have a little bit of points, they also give you the option to pay like maybe 15, 20, 30 dollars, sometimes 40 dollars. So last night I was able to pay 16 dollars same hotel room say everything so but service wasn't good over there because they kept saying i was in mexico y'all should have seen it like both all three of my phones kept saying i was in mexico i don't know why but i was real i mean i'm close to mexico so hopefully they finish this today it shouldn't take no more than two three hours to get this done i need to get back on the road make some money lost out on a lot of money but that's how it goes sometimes just been here drinking my water just waiting and that's it y'all it's nice outside you know that's the y'all already know that's that's the greatest thing for me this weather this weather is, is beautiful so I also gotta get ready because i know it's not like that in all these other states or oh, it could be it could be you know i probably bring some nice weather to these other states michigan ohio Georgia, North Carolina, you know. But anyway, I just want to jump on here. Y'all already know we make it today better than yesterday. Drinking my water. Look. Water. Agua. I've been doing my shakes. I'm actually gonna um I'm trying to see if I'm gonna do one right now. So but this is what happens. And it's crazy because last time my van stopped, what, what was it? We was in North Carolina. Then before that, we was in Dallas. And now we back in Texas, which is Laredo. And then my other one, the Dodge, the other one, that one got um, stopped, what, in Dallas. So I don't know. Maybe when they, maybe when they feel us heat out here, everything just start, I don't know. Everything get crazy. You know, I met a nice um, lift lady. She actually do lift and Uber. She is so nice. She was talking about just, you know, traveling and traveling, which was, it was dope. She was just excited to go to um, McLean. She had a, a guy who she picks up, go back and forth to McLean. Maybe she said like once a week and stuff. I was like, that's dope. She's like, well, what do you do? And I told her expedite and I show her my van and everything. And she was like, that's great. I want to travel. <laughs> So I was telling her, like, hey, look, go on my YouTube. You know, I show you different states. And, you know, and she seemed like a very strong lady. She was pretty dope. Her name was Sandra. We exchanged numbers. She actually helped me out all week this week on where I needed to go and everything. And truly, truly appreciate her with, you know, just her helping me. And um, and that's it. Ah, ah. And that, that thing was big. I was about to scream, right? I know. That thing was big, big and red. <laughs> they be laughing at me out here. They be laughing at me. Thanks. Look. We gonna be done today? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> he's, he's pretty cool. He actually was um, fixing somebody's truck. And um, that took like, since I've been here, you know, 
it's just waiting for parts, you know. I get I believe Texas don't get that many parts, but I was able to get my part, so and then like I said they they do more trucks. They do more trucks out here. Y'all see this weather though? See that sun? They do more like 18 wheelers and stuff. Happy they was able to do my van. It was just waiting for the part. So it was a guy who was next to me. They was doing his truck. They was just waiting for his part. So his part finally came in. So I just been in here walking around, jumping rope, you know. This weather's look. Another guy over there waiting. This weather's nice. I think they said it was like 80, 80 degrees out here, 85. So, ready to get this done, get on the road, make some money. This box truck is really nice. So, yes, y'all, I should be back on the road soon. Got my antifreeze. Inside of the rim, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is, you know, it's Friday. Been here, what, like I said, I've been here a week since last week when I dropped off. So, should we get done today? You seen the other guys say, yeah, today we got the part. I seen where, you know, the part was broke. So, as long as we got the part, ready to go. Hopefully that's it. <laughs> but it's really something that, you know, my mechanic wouldn't have been able to see. Because it, it really dropped really, really, really slow. So, you nobody wouldn't have been able to see it, you know. I just pay a lot of attention, so... I just know that for any drive that's more than a thousand miles, checking that antifreeze, making sure the antifreeze is good, you know, making sure my oil is good because that's something that my my mechanic tells me to check. I was happy I checked it because I was ready to go. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, uh, hopefully y'all y'all day is going good, your morning's going good, your afternoon it should be going great because guess what? We woke up so should be happy one thing that um hotel didn't have well the hotel had it it was just that it was broken you know i've been here a whole week and i've been trying to wash this back clothes like and the um the dryer wasn't working i could have went to another another hotel but a lot of these other hotels they ain't have they ain't have no um like the laundry service didn't look good so so when I finish this, I'm definitely going to go wash some clothes and stop buying underclothes. But I just didn't want to go back and forth, back and forth. So that's the only reason why I brought upper underclothes over there. I should have just prepared myself because there's a lot of clothes up here. I didn't prepare myself. I just grabbed some clothes and thought I was going to come back and everything was going to be good. <laughs> but... Of course it wasn't, you know, every day I called, my radiator wasn't here. Up until today, the radiator came, so I'm happy about that. So, not buying no more clothes, and I'm going to wash clothes. And a lot of people be like, so what What do you bring when you go on the road? You bring everything. Especially if you got the room. Like, I, I definitely got the room. You got the room on the sides, you got the room on top. Like, on top, you definitely got the room if you got a ram pro master if you got a dodge ram pro master 3500 you got a little little cubby up here 
and you can put a lot of stuff in so i just didn't pack my bag i just i like pack my bag for like i'm not gonna lie i packed my, my bag for two days and then it was like dang i come all the way over here from the hotel i was at so but anyway i'm just like rambling off listen i was watching um 9 too it, don't y'all know I've been here since Saturday? I've been watching that since Saturday. I'm already up to season four. That's what I've been doing. Now on one, getting sleep, smoothies, and then I had to wear this mask. See, look, breaking out again because of the mask. At that hotel, go in and out, you got to wear a mask. So, breaking out again. But, y'all already know, as soon as I get out of here, I'll be good by Tuesday. But, I'm actually gonna get a t-shirt or something but i did see some guy he had like some covering like that i guess it was like i don't know what that is i'm gonna ask them but i need to do better with that because i don't like none of this so and these masses like i said i i've been through a lot i washed them and everything and i've been through a lot i've been through the the ones that you get from the hospital i've been through a whole bunch of them so anyway y'all should hear from me later on today or tomorrow morning I should be getting that load, y'all. Y'all already know. And my van should be fixed. So I'll let y'all know. Enjoy y'all day. And y'all already know we make it today better than yesterday. Later.